You're watching Taste the Victory. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are joined by Screech Elite who just won their store championship securing their invite to Nats with blue green Grandis Kuwagamon. So this is an awesome addition to the normally green list. So Screech Elite, you want to go ahead and introduce us to this list that help you get your uh, Nats invite? Yeah, man. Uh, thanks a lot for having me. So um, this is my take on Grandis in this uh, OTK format. So let's start off with uh, for Yoko. Uh, because we like the boost. Uh, I haven't needed a fifth egg yet. I know some people like gummy. I just I haven't needed a fifth, and uh, I like my boost more than I like to draw in this deck, especially the way that I'm running it. So, and then we'll move on to the rookies. We got our Terrier Mons. Um, yeah, they're really good against your Alpha Mon matchups if you can get two up to stop them from hurting you. Good against uh, War Grey Mon X. Uh, so they can't get their memory back and blitz for game. Just a really good card in general. The, the words on the card are good, so you play it. Uh, then we move on to our searchers. It's going to be three Tentomon, one play, reveal the top card of your deck, add it if it's a green card. Um, it's you, Green has very little searchers, so we need to play the ones that we have, even if they aren't the greatest, you know, in my opinion. And then our real good boy here. Uh, Kakuamon X Antibody, the card that the deck needs. Um, it's actually like the first green rookie that searches that isn't specified by level and only uh, traits. So the next three spots are definitely like uh, flex spots. I actually cut the jamming Palmons from the deck. Uh, I cut three Palmons from the deck to play around with this because the jamming just wasn't coming up at all. Um, I love it. Uh, Choking with the Goblimons is amazing. Um, playing two go Goblimons in a turn and then making a blocker, drawing another card, is, it just feels good. Uh, Lalamon is definitely the biggest flex spot in the deck. Uh, you can, I even thought about putting it back to jamming Palmon, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, the deck's ever-evolving. So, uh, Next up, we have our standard four Weedmon, because you know, Weedmon is just great. If you're going to play a Digiverse deck, you got to play them. Yeah. Gain a memory. Right. And I mean, if you have to rush, uh, he's a four four cost of play. So if you have to rush your opponent down, he's good for that too. Uh, and then we'll move on to another standard four uh, Kabuteri Mon. And one cost of Jizz Evolve is just really good. Choke your opponent. Uh, blockers are good for the rush decks that come at you. Uh, I actually played against an armor rush player not too long ago. And I had three of these guys out on board at once. And it was just like, it, it won me the game because it held him up so hard. Uh, and he's also searchable off of Kakua Monix Antibody, which is amazing. Um, and then another really two questionable spots here, the Sneemon and the Metal Kabuteri. I play the Metal Kabuteri to Digivolve over my level fours to, just in case I'm missing pieces, I want to keep the piercing underneath of my Grandis. And I, you know, I couldn't get to the Okua X anybody or something like that. Uh, Sneemon did come up uh, like three times that day, so it was really nice. Uh, but he doesn't come up a lot for me. I just, I'm not sure what I'd like to cut to play. And then uh, for level fives, you know, you got your standard Okua Mon promo. This, I mean, the card's insane. And, um, all your opponents, Digimon, gain, uh, lose one memory when suspended until the end of your next turn. It's just pseudo ice wall, a really good card. And then the card that makes it even more insane is a cool Mon X Antibody. You know, Digivolve for zero, tap something, your opponent will lose another memory. Uh, and then I know a lot of people don't, but I like to play a. Ninth level five, which is the Akuamon, uh Digivolve for two. When the Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon by battle uh, and survives, gain one memory. I was I found myself bricking on level fives a lot in the uh, previous three tournaments that I played in. So I actually put this in the night before uh, the store championship that I had won Sunday. So and I, I loved it. Uh, it came up. You know, I I couldn't see these. I couldn't see these, but I saw him, so it worked. Um, and I appreciated it. So on to the Megas. Your standard Grand Coaga. And then your standard Granddaddy. Grandest Coagamon. Just your win cons of the deck. And then we play 
four of green memory boost just because you need to dig the deck likes to dig you need to see pieces as fast as possible it's otk format which moves me on to my next point three davis because you need to dig I mean, you, just, you gotta get to grandis as fast as you possibly can and mimi is not going to help you do that um davis will and then i'm uh, playing two lobomon one ice wall for the spice uh nice that's the list nice i love the list this is really unique i, I love Thank the you. blue inclusion here so like how did you end up deciding on davis like do you miss mimi at all has it come up i don't miss mimi at all and i've had a lot of conversations about um why i don't miss mimi so in this format um so you're going to raise, and obviously you're going to try to kill your opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have Mimi. So you're going to hatch an egg, and when you run into a security bomb and lose, I mean, not lose, but lose your Digimon, that Mimi that you just hatched, I mean, that egg that you just hatched with Mimi isn't, even if you start to build a stack here, isn't going to stop your opponent from reverse sweeping you next turn. And this is OTK format. So more often than not, that's exactly what's going to happen. So I would much rather sacrifice being able to threaten with second Grandis. Mm -hmm. I would sacrifice that to get the consistency of the first one. And that's that's how I, I came up with it. And I, I started by with just one, one Davis, two Mimi, and then I bumped it up to two Davis, one Mimi. And before I knew it, I just cut Mimi all together because she never felt good to activate. And uh, like like I said earlier, I don't know if you've been a green player and had a bricked hand and had to activate a Mimi, but it don't feel good. Right, yeah. So, <laughs> Davis Davis that. will pull you completely out of the grave, you know? Yeah, that totally makes sense. That's pretty cool. So uh, yeah. what were your matchups at the store championship? And like, what, what did you feel was easiest and hardest? Uh, So my round one was grandest. I'm going to be honest. This was the hardest. Complete sweat show, dude. I was so nervous the entire time. I was playing another really good and experienced player. Uh, shout out to Jimmy at PG. He's awesome. Um, a real awesome guy. He was playing Grandis, too, and uh, he played really well. Uh, it really just came down to, and it can't lie to you, it came down to a Davis because I couldn't find my Grandis. I had to raise a Grand, uh, check for three, and with the Weedmon Digiburst, I had enough to Lobomon for game. Um, his his game was really fun. Uh, I think I I got game one because I just I just beat him to it, and that's how that matchup is always going to be. And then he got game two because he beat me to it. And then the game three came down to me having a Lobomon for game. Mm -hmm. But uh, so uh, round two was red, yellow, shine which is where my misplays really started to come in because I've never played the deck before. Um, yeah. <laughs> game one, I couldn't find my lines, and I just I, I had to start kind of like rookie rushing him a little bit. I, I found my line late, um, but by the time I found it, he had game on board for next turn. So what happened was I had three rookies on board, and he had two security left. And I was so focused on Sunrise Buster that I completely forgot about Fireball. So I was like, mm -hmm. "If I mean, it, it doesn't matter now because Sunrise Buster is going to kill anything. So I can just swing. You know, it, it doesn't pay for me to Digivolve in anything. I had a couple of memory I could have played with, but I, I didn't. So I swung with the first rookie. It lived. I swung with the second one. And then, of course, the last security was Fireball, which killed my third rookie that I needed for game. And I had the Kabu Terrymon in my hand that I could have just Digivolved for one to protect him from it. But it just didn't cross my mind. I, I never played the matchup before. Um, and then games two and three, uh, he kind of just, he never saw, he played the one Jet Sophie, he never saw it. He never really saw much of a line of anything. He just played a lot of tamers. And I guess he was hoping I was going to hit a Sunrise Buster, and I didn't. And uh, game three kind of happened the same way. I just built mm -hmm. the line, brought it out. Uh, I played some little guys early match for chip damage to get him down to three so I could just finish the game with Grandis. And uh, that's how I did it. Uh, let's see. That was round three is Black War Greymon. This was the match that I was most confident going into. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I'm 2-1 for both my games. So I'm like, this is like, I'm just, 
I'm uphill battling every game. This you know. So, because I've, I've played this matchup a bunch of times before at my locals, and I just know that it, it can't do much against Grandis if Grandis sees its, it sees its line. And, um, of course, game one, I, I couldn't find my line. And uh, he, he made a black wall Greymon pretty quick. And uh, I made a couple misplays into him, too. I let him kill two of my rookies at the same time, but one black wolf Greymon. Uh, he guilemoned. Um, and I, he just he took too many security for me to try and make a comeback. And then we went into game two. He built his stack first. I let him raise it because I knew he couldn't take all of my security. And then uh, I think he checked a Davis. And on my next turn, I was able to... The Davis sent me into a Grandis. And then on my next turn, I was able to just raise out, swing over, check, check for game. Well, no, it wasn't check, check for game. Uh, I swung over the guy Oman, check. And then I swung over another rookie he had and check. But I couldn't couldn't swing for game. So I just passed turn to him. And then he scooped that game. And uh, that's pretty much the same way game three went as well. And then game four, uh, definitely the most uh, nerve-wracking matchup, Beelstar. Because um, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not renting the ADP package, and I, just, I don't believe the deck has the room for it in the deck or even the time to activate it. Um, because even Beelstar can rush you down. And that's exactly what he did to me game two. But game one, uh, I was actually able to take it from him just because his security was bad and I saw rookies. So I just started hard playing rookies. Uh, his hand was kind of a brick. Mm -hmm. And I was able to take that one from him just by hard playing and raising from raising. Uh, and he didn't see Eismon that game either. So it's just Beelstar kind of needs to see Eismon and let him die, you know. Right. And then game two his security his his security in game two could have ended me five times like he could have beat me he could have beat me five times with that security i think the first check was like uh the first check was fly bullet second check was fly bullet third check was um what's the the red the red musketeer card it's like fly bullet oh i think it's a bullet shower i think yeah uh that was the third check and so uh I was just like, at that point, I'm just like, let's just go to game three, man. There's no way I'm coming back from this. Yeah. And uh, so we go to game three, and I'm like, before we go to game three, I'm just like, just flip your security. And the next security was another fly bullet. I was like, oh, my God, dude. I was never going to win that. And uh, game three, it was pretty much just like a standard uh, standard grandest match, except for I uh, lowboed for game. Um, I built my grandest stack. I chipped one. Mm -hmm. uh no, I chip. Yeah, I did chip one with a rookie. I built my grandest stack, brought it out, swung, checked the rest of the stack. None of them were kill options, mm -hmm. and then I had the memory to lobo him on for game. Awesome, that's sick. He had some. Uh, he had some rookies out that I had tapped with the uh, Akuamon promo effect to have enough memory to lobo. Oh, nice! That's really clutch. Yeah, I gotta be careful about leaving stuff on board. Yeah, uh, that's uh, that's why I feel. Grandis' uh, biggest weakness is it can be played around so easily because yeah. it needs to tap for the combo. I will say that my hardest matchup and my most nerve-wracking matchup was the matchup against uh, Grandis. Mm -hmm. Just because it's so 50-50, it'll come down to, you know... It literally came down to one of his security checks because he's, he's a, you know, he plays Grandis too, so he knows not to leave things untapped. And the security check that he ended up hitting was a uh, memory boost. And that that just sent me. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Uh, and that's a lot of this format will be a lot of RNG. You know, you can only play as well as you can play, and then you got to leave it to the RNG gods. Yeah, totally. That's kind of how it'd be sometimes. We just lose a giant yeah. stack. You get so far behind. Yeah. 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 So it sounds like decks that like rely on securities makes a really scary matchup for this because you just got to hope not to get blown out. Absolutely. Like. uh I mean, I've tried. I tried and tried, tried to run the ADB package, but it just doesn't it doesn't work out for me. And then I saw Max uh, Max Apera's list mm -hmm. that he just topped with, and I saw he did it without the ADP package, and I was just like, man, like I it, it I already wasn't running it, but it just solidified any doubt that I had that I actually needed it to win. Right. Yeah, for sure. I think you could just like brute force or like hope to dodge security control even stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, and that's a lot of this game too. You just like it, it comes down to what your matchups are and if you dodge the ones that really suck for you, you know? Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Because every deck in this meta has a weak point, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's definitely true. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really insightful. Thanks for explaining the whole like, Grand Esquagamon deck to us. That was awesome, dude. Congratulations on that win again. Do you have any closing thoughts or shout outs you want to give out? Uh, uh, thank you for inviting me on here, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me shout out my shop, EOT Games. Um, the owner, Steven, he's always very supportive of his player base. Uh, the player base themselves, uh, Eddie Taylor, Austin, uh, Bono, Drew, uh, you know, all the guys, Carson, Dakota, you know, everybody that I play with. I really appreciate it because I'm a firm believer in you're only as good as your play group. You only ever be as good as the people that you play with. So, without those guys, I wouldn't be. Uh, I wouldn't be at the level of play. Not that I'm anything special, but you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Well, congratulations again. Um, g- glad you were on here. Happy to have you. Hopefully, see you again within the top someday in the future. Maybe at Nats, come back with the spicy grass profile again. That'd I hope great. so, man. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. All right. Good luck, man. Thanks again for everyone for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See you.